Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines. Our main event should be a good one tonight. So we are underway here. Round one, scheduled for 12. The Dragon, banged up by a left hand. Stay with me here. Move your head. Showing you some defense there with the block. The Dragon's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while. You know, sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, down the chimney. You want to mix it up. Ten seconds remaining in this round. The dragon swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so let's go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. What about his opponent in a spot like this? I mean, here you got to your guy earlier. You did some damage, but now he's fighting with such a defensive style. It can be frustrating. Yeah, it can be, but you have to make the adjustments. You're going to deal with styles like this. This is part of your education, part of your development to go up that boxing ladder. Now you have to find a way to get to him while he's being defensive. Still use your jab, you know, close that gap, put your punches together more, and start banging that body a little bit extra. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. A solid uppercut by the Dragon. A well-placed left hand up top. Fires right back at him. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bid. He's confident. The Dragon's punch is far off the target.
Good counter punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym, and you love when you see it executed. says right back with the left hand Work the body head and body head and body Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Can't just move around. All right, let's look at Teddy's scorecard after three rounds, and you can see that he's up by just a round. But I think it's fair to say that it's anybody's fight at this point. The Dragon's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. The Dragons tagged by a right hand. Teddy, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now all of a sudden he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instincts now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now he's not. Now just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. Great job of protecting himself. He's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you... The Dragon's legs look shaky. He was hurt. <gasps> big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, banged around and down. Joey has some choices to make. Two of them. One, do I get up? And two, how do I behave once I'm up? But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Nice. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Don't let him get to you. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. He took a go of it to the body but came up empty. End of the round. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point, but not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. And you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You're going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool set. And it's important to remember that. The Dragon's doing exactly what he's always done stylistically, Teddy. Now, he was knocked down earlier. So what he always does got him in this position. Yeah, he understands his identity. He understands that, you know, he's going to win or lose the man that he is, the fighter that he is. He just has to make sure that he makes a few adaptations. That's a huge left he just scored with. Wake up! Good block. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing, is to learn defense. 
you know, the easy part, the fun part is letting your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Scored well up top. The Dragons missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Move your head. Muevete la cabeza. Coming to the end of round number five. Last ten seconds. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Now hugging on the inside. Just like that, just like that. The Dragon's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Move your head! Muevete la cabeza! Wow, look at that, trading shots. One two. One two. The Dragon's doing exactly what he told us he would do. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but he's sticking to that game plan. You know, I like that. You know, I want to see how a guy behaves under pressure. He hasn't panicked, you know. He still believes in his identity, believes in his talents, his abilities, and he's going to stay that way unless the guy convinces him later on. He missed that uppercut. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead, think you can try to hit me up top. You can't, great movement. A very good movement, very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm, he's very in control. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Back to the body. Final ten seconds of the sixth round. That was another great round from him. He seems so fresh, Teddy. I can't imagine what kind of training camp he had to be this fresh this late in the fight. Well, I can't imagine. You know, I had my spies in there, and they were telling me that they took a page out of the training book of the great Rocky Marciano. They went into the swimming pools during the day, and they were doing punching for a half an hour underwater. That is one of the reasons you're seeing the results you're seeing tonight. The Dragon's missing punches here. Now, the good news is, He's throwing punches, but Teddy needs to be more accurate. Well, can I give you the bad news? Please. He's throwing them to the wrong place. He's throwing them upstairs. He should throw them downstairs. This guy's moving his head. You go downstairs, you take away that head movement. Then you find them upstairs. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Double up your punches. Come on. Thank you, Tim. Yeah. He missed with that headshot. Throws a counter punch there. Keep pushing. Beat the body. 
The Dragon's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. He's in his fight. You know, neither man's been pushed too hard so far, but one man has taken advantage of it. A commanding lead on your scorecard, Teddy, as we start round number eight. Yeah, he hasn't been forced into a fast pace, so he's just taken what's been given to him. There's been a lot of picking there, the fruit at the top of the tree, and he's picked it. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him. He can counter him. The halfway point of round number eight. What a big shot. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it. It's over. Fight is over. The Dragons unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.